So here, it is great honor and privilege for us to introduce in front of you our speaker, Professor Dr. Z. Godwin Mindel Hall Madden from Michigan State University, United States of America. I would like to share that Hall Madden always supporting Guido Series Center, and we are always remembering her presentation from in phase 2019. From the very beginning, Professor Dr. Hall Madden is sharing her knowledge and viewpoints with the researcher and the academician more than five decades into the research and academics by our Hall Miller. Now, I would like to take the privilege uh, to share the one video that we have received right now from our Hall Miller. Okay, I am delighted to be here to speak to scholars, young and old and new, from over 190 countries. I want to talk to you about something which I hope will be most useful to all of you. Now, just about everybody is trying to create new databases and i have experience with that that goes way back because i began my database in 1984 and i published it in the year 2000. it is a high quality database which I, I, a team of my uh, colleagues and I are expanding now. Let me talk about what a high quality database is, because such databases are far from common. Most of them are much too small, limited in scope, and can only answer questions their creators have posed in advance. But to my mind, the, the larger the scope of a database is, the better. And quality databases can only be created by a team of scholars collaborating effectively. Sources should be entered within each record, and the coding scheme must retain maximum flexibility. String variables must be assigned to capture the exact terms and phrasing of documents, regardless of language. An alphanumeric comments field must allow for context and for capturing new variables built up from regularly repeated information as the documents are studied in depth and over time. The database must be able to enter 
be entered into a quality program to make sophisticated calculations. And it must be made easily available for study and comparative research by the wide world of international scholars, regardless of their language. I know this is a tall order. It can only work with important, high quality, informative documents with comparable information. So the first step is to find such a collection of documents. The next step is to maintain flexibility in the coding scheme, allowing for new variables and new data inputs as the need arises. I conclude that maintaining flexibility to make changes in database design and to make corrections in data entry is most essential. Database designs cannot be divorced from the process of research. Early database design does not produce a finished product. It involves as the scholar becomes more familiar with the documents, with the data, and with new questions as they arise. Answers, tentative answers and partial answers lead to new questions. Additional fields are entered and recoded during and even after the data entry, entry process has been completed. I know this is difficult, but this is the direction we scholars of the digital age must go as we quickly learn that we could turn what we thought we knew before on its head. I hope this brief but condensed discussion of what a quality database is will be helpful to my fellow scholars and aspirant scholars throughout the world. I thank you for inviting me to address so many of my fellow scholars, young and old, throughout the world. Thank you very much. And that was wonderful presentation. We would like to appreciate Professor Midno Hallmaden from Michigan State University. And we have seen that in this is also what is the energy and how Madam was presenting us that how we have to go for data collection and the stepwise that uh, inspiration. I think that living legend and inspiration on researcher and academics and i would like to request each and everyone to give the big hand to our professor midlo hall madam from united states of america for sharing her knowledge for sharing her vision with the all the young and the researcher and the academics and in this platform i would like to take the opportunity to unmute our uh, Dr. Jane Rowley, Madam, for her message that if Madam can share one viewpoint regarding the speech given by our professor, Dr. Midlo Hall, Madam, from the United States of America, we have seen that in her, this stage uh, is also, she was sharing wonderful messages with all the researchers. So I would like to take the privilege to unmute here, Dr. Jane Rowley, Madam, 
for sharing one viewpoint from Madam Sai. In this here is, here is an outstanding example of continuing the work. She developed this debate, database, those databases in 1984 and published it in 2000. And she's presenting it to the world to continue to help solve problems. You can't get a better example of continued work helping not only her generation of researchers, but the next generations of researchers. So I challenge you and I charge you to follow her example, to continue the work, continue to bring tools and resources and your life experiences to help others all over the world. You can do it too. Thank you. Thank you very much, Madam, for sharing your message. And this is true that quality data collection, and as our Dr. Raleigh, Madam, also said regarding Professor uh, Dr. Mildo Hall, Madam, that how precise work she is continuing. I would like to uh, unmute here, organizing secretary, who's in a single sir, for one comment from his side. As an organizing secretary of this second World Summit, SOS 2021, the World Summit on Social Science and Humanities, as an organizing secretary, I would like to request you to share your comment to the presentation of our professor, Dr. Midler Hall, Madam, from Michigan State University, United States. Very impressive. We normally want to blame tools, but I'm very sure she's using the most basic, basic, basic resources at hand. And as said earlier, she has had the resilience to stay for so many years before publishing. I think she is really a trendsetter. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Busi Mexico, sir. I would like to take the opportunity to unmute our research officer, Subinder Singh, also to add his comment in this platform. I think that uh, Subinder Singh is uh, now disconnected. I would like to take the opportunity to unmute our Sammy Samuel from Ghana to add his comment regarding the presentation of our professor Mid the Hall Medal in this plate. So strange. One message from Samuel from Ghana. I think that uh, Samuel is facing some many internet issues in his place. And I would like to take the opportunity to unmute our Mary Madam, the Chief Technical Officer of our Radio Services Center, to add one comment to the presentation. Over to Mary Spila Madam from Philippine. Very good evening from India. Yes, good evening, dear chairman. We would like to request you for one uh, comment from your side regarding the presentation of our professor, Dr. Mildo Holman. Yes, chairman, most certainly uh, the presentation was very simple and yet very insightful. It is a legacy that we will never forget from a 100-year-old woman from Michigan. She will always be an inspiration for all of us that in simplest way we find happiness. And I know that uh, it is effortless to be an inspiring person if we have a good heart and we, that transcends through our mind and as we share knowledge to everyone, it is the most important uh, lesson from us that everyone will always cherish. And it is a great privilege from Eudoxia Research Center for having her because I know that she is one of the greatest inspiration and the most unforgettable patron of all time because i know that he's a living legacy in the field of education and i know that all her achievements all her accomplishments will give us insightful experiences to all of us thank you so much chairman 
And I hope that uh, we will always have a time for her to interact live the soonest. And we wish her a very good health always. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Professor. You. And a big hand for our Mary Madam for such a wonderful message. Yes, we are wishing the good health for our Professor Dr. Hall Madam. And uh, we have received the number of appreciation messages. And uh, we have seen that one after another, our participants, our academicians, appreciating the presentation made by Professor Hall Madam. And we are congratulating you, Madam, for such a wonderful presentation in this platform. Thank you very much.